I'm going to start with some basic ideas on percentages. I'm going to discuss the simple idea of what percentage means. This time. Before we go on to that, I'm just going to compare these two things. Fine. Which is better, 15 out of 20 or 11 out of 15? Suppose you, out of 20, you get 15, or out of 15, you get 11 in an exam. Which is better, 15 by 20 is higher, or 11 by 15 is higher? We need to compare these two. It's a very simple way of comparing these two. Take the LCM and then simplify after that. LCM of 15 and 20 is 60. So write both of these on a per 60 basis. So 15 by 20 is 45 by 60. 11 by 15 is 44 by 60. This is greater than this. This is greater than this. If you're comparing 15 out of 20 and 11 out of 15. So this is 15 out of 20 and 11 out of 15. We just take the LCM and simplify and solve this and find out which is better. When I build on this, suppose you're comparing slightly larger numbers, slightly different numbers. Which is better, scoring 470 out of 500 or 1140 out of 1200? So 47 by 50 or 114 by 120, which is better? Right? So if you have larger numbers or if you have a set of many numbers, suppose you're given five, six different fractions, then converting and all of them to LCM of all five, six denominators it's going to transition to a much larger set of fractions with larger denominators and numerators it becomes tricky and time consuming. And so what can we do here? So this 47 out of 50 and this 114 out of 120 somehow convert both to one standard denominator. So we convert both to per 100. This might not be a nice integer. And the 100 need not be the LCM of the two denominators, it need not be a multiple of the LCM. So it's not like that number will be a proper nice round number. But we're saying, look, we don't care. We'll convert everything to a per 100 basis. This idea of converting everything to a per 100 basis, that is called as percentage. Per 100, per cent. Everything converted on a per 100 basis is the percentage. So 47 by 50, that is just 94 by 100. 114 by 120. This is 19 by 20. 19 by 20 is what by 100? 19 by 20 into 100 or this is 19 into 5, 95 by 100. So this is 94 by 100, this is 95 by 100 or this is 94 percentage, this is 95 percentage, this is better. So converting everything to a per 100 basis, that is percentage. Fine. So if you have lots of numbers to compare, we convert everything to a per 100 basis and then life becomes simpler. Or if you have very uh, unusual denominators, you convert everything to a per 100 basis, life becomes simpler. There's some method of standardizing. We all think 100 is a nice round number. So we've chosen percent per 100. Everything we like to think in terms of, oh, this were the scenario, this is the number. What if the scenario were out of 100? Then what, are, what is the number we are thinking about? That is the idea behind percent per 100. Fine. Now, Percentages help us standardize. And so you've got 3 out of 4, 5 out of 7, 11 out of 15. You can compare all of these on a per 100 basis. So this is the idea of percentages. Now what do you calculate after that? Right? Two simple ideas, some very powerful ideas, two simple ideas. What percentage of 60 is 36? Out of 60, you have 36. What is this as a percentage? So out of 60, you have 36. What would this be out of 100? Or this is nothing but 36 by 60 into 100, which is 6 by 10 into 100, or this is 60 percentage. The next idea, what is 70% of 90? If out of 100, you have scored 70. If it were on an out of 90 basis, what would this be? Very simple, 70 by 100 into 90. It just goes off. This is 63. This entire topic is based on two simple ideas. What percentage of this is this? What percentage of B is A? Nothing but A by B into 100. Right. What is P percent of Q? It's nothing but P by 100 into Q. P percent is P per 100. What is 70 by 100 of 90? 70 by 100 into 90. What percentage of 60 is 36? 36 by 60 into 100. 
any fraction, anything represented as a percentage of any other number, A as a percentage of B, A by B into 100, P percentage of Q, P by 100 into Q. This entire topic is going to just rest on these two simple ideas. Every time you get a question, it's either going to be of this type or of this type. So you're either going to find something as a percentage or you're going to find percentage of some number. If you know these two ideas, this entire topic is a walk. So what percentage of 60 is 36? 36 by 60 into 100. What is 70% of 90? 70 by 100 into 90. 